Got a cooler generator. It's up for the yearly maintenance. Let's see, it actually says it right around there. Do the oil filter, air filter, spark plugs, and oil change. Just inspect too. There was a few snake skins. Took them out. As you can see, it's a little frigid out here, but beautiful. First thing you do is warm it up. I always let it run for about 10 minutes, five minutes, get it warmed up. If not, the oil will come out extremely slow if it's cold. And then I have my little thing. I always put a rock on it because the tube don't want to stay down. There's a little valve here. I'm gonna turn this. Should start coming out. Maybe. Ooh, there it is. I'm just gonna let that drain while I do all the other stuff. It's nice and creamy. I'm gonna do the air filter first here. Good. Set this over here. So you definitely do not want to get that done in the intake. So I'm gonna try to get that out of there. Got a little raggedy power here. Just help get it all out of there. More snake skins. Too dirty, but let's just replace it. It just goes right on there. Make sure you don't get any dirt down in there. Put new one on. And so, it fits down on there snug. <laughs> and look at the spark plugs next. Got one here. And then you got one in the back side there. Put that one on. We'll do that first. As you can see, oil's still draining. It takes, it takes a while. We've got five-eight socket. I use a spark plug socket. Five eight. I don't know if I really need an extension, but it's on there because we're definitely gonna need it for the backside with a swivel on it. Take that one out. Not too bad, a little burnt, but when you put this back in the new one, you don't want to over tighten it. You just want it nice and snug. Like I said, when you put this new one in. Not over tight. Just be stripping threads out in the head. It'd be disastrous. I got a little bit of no lock, something to put on top of the spark plug to give it kind of correct protection against corrosion. All right. Just cover back on here. Until it's snug. One thing I want to kind of add is tighten it down kind of evenly. I'm going to over tighten that. Just kind of snug. All right. Now I'm going to do this backside. Let's put plug. Put you down in there. I don't know if I can get a good view of that. I think so. Definitely going to need an extension. I'm going to swivel all this one. On there straight.
damage. Tricky. Make sure you don't cross start it. Should start nice and easy. A little bit of no locks on there. Kind of hard to see it. Just put a little bit in here. It's a little easier. Put a little bit in there that way. Keeps the corrosion. Make sure it's going in that way. Should hear a snap. The oil is pretty much done coming out. It's supposed to take right around three quarts. I don't know if that's quite three quarts, but I like to. Take a little oil and go down through the engine. Just clean it out a little bit. Should see it's gonna come out a little bit there. Should kind of get cleaner. Flush that, the rest of that out of there. Let it drink in. Next, oil filter. So it seems that He Man put this on. Really, no need for that. Yeah. You got that off. You want to take a little bit of oil and put it around your seal on the new gasket. Just put it all around there. Keep it from drying out. Put that back on. And then maybe not put it on there like he man like the last person. It should definitely be tight, but not going to be that tight. Should be good. You always want to do a visual inspection of the battery. Make sure everything's tight. Oh, look. Intruders. Deck of battery in that. Probably good for about three years. They charge all the time, triple charge by themselves through the power through the house. You can see how the new oil is mixing in with the old oil. Just kind of draining that old stuff out. Meanwhile, On the overview, it says it has 15.2 hours. If we go into that. Maintenance required warning. Keep scrolling down.
next exercise that's when it exercises and just runs on its own next maintenance overdue click on that reset timer on the maintenance yes now it says the next time we need to do is January 2026 We're going to put our oil in it, test it out. Generator is now filled up with oil. We have it back on auto mode. We're going to go do a little test real quick. If you turn the main circuit breaker off in the transformer, or in the transfer switch, I'm sorry generator should automatically start go through process transfer switch switched over Restore power to the building through the power utility company. And then we're going to put our cover back on. The generator will automatically shut off by itself. And we've done our job. <laughs>